This is Cameron Chai bringing another episode of Azo TV, and today I'm speaking to Andrew Campbell from Angstrom Engineering, and he's going to tell us about their next step electron beam evaporation system. Yes, uh, well, thank you very much. This is our next step evaporation system. It's an R&D coder for universities and labs. Uh, two of the things that set this tool apart are safety is very important and the process repeatability is very important. Now what we've put into this tool is we have class four safety rated switches to make sure that when users open up the chamber, we cut all the high voltage, all the high current to the system. We also cover all of the high voltage cables. We provide a grounding probe to make sure that all the voltage is dissipated before the users go in to clean out the system or add new material to the source. This is really critical because a lot of other systems don't put the same effort into protecting the users. There are voltages present here that can be hazardous, can kill people. So a lot of engineering goes into this to make sure the control system is safe. We also have a lot of new users and inexperienced users using the tools at first. Uh, a lot of grad students that uh, are new to vacuum end up using this equipment. So we, we make safety a priority. Repeatability is also very important too. For researchers, you need to make sure that when you do a process, you can repeat that process and you get the same results. To do that, we put a lot of work into making sure the little details are covered. The, the sensors are rigidly mounted so that they don't, they don't get bumped or moved during a crystal change. We make sure that the system's easy to clean by providing debris shields that can be removed. That lowers the contamination in the tool over time and makes sure that your, your results can be repeated uh, for years to come. This system includes a single electron beam source. It has multiple pockets. This tool can be configured for electron beam evaporation, resistive evaporation, or sputter deposition, both RF and DC. The sample stage in this tool that we brought here today has a rotating platen. We can configure that with heating, with cooling, liquid nitrogen cooling. We can have it tilt. Uh, multiple samples, domes, or even planetary motion. So there's a lot of flexibility in this tool. It can be custom designed for the user specifications. Can you tell us about the control system down there? The control system here, we're using an Inficon SQC310 controller. This controller provides a lot of flexibility for controlling ramp rates. It allows us to automatically index the pocket, in this case on the electron beam system, to run multiple layer films all in one recipe. On the back of the controller, there's a USB port that we've routed to the front of the system. It allows us to connect a laptop up to the tool. That laptop allows us to run a, a PC with the included software and build your recipes, execute your recipes, store and, and download your data all from your own laptop, bring that back to your office and, and crunch the numbers and, and continue with your work. So that does that also allow data feedback to the, to the laptop so you can see what's actually been going on in, inside the system? It does, it does. You, you, you store all of the data that comes through the rate sensor. So we know the rates, if there was a blip in rate during a process, if a process w was cut out for any particular reason, you know, the time of day, when it was run, what the pressure is in the system during the process. Okay, what do people usually typically use a system like this for? Well, there's a, there's a lot of material science research that can be done with these tools. This specific tool was designed for metal evaporation. The, uh, with the E-beam source, we can, we can deposit metals, including the refractory metals. The E-beam source provides the ability to deposit very high temperature metals, ceramics as well. And a lot of the tools that we make, depending how this is configured, you can do all sorts of organic materials. We, we've got a strong customer base in organic electronics. Uh, topics like OLEDs and OPV research are, ve are very popular. All right then, Andrew, and if anyone wants more information about the Next Step system or any of the other systems for that matter, they can find all that information on your website. Certainly, our website is www.angstromengineering.com. We've got lots of information on all of our standard products and, and some information on some custom projects we've done as well. All right then Andrew, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the Next Step Electron Beam Evaporation System. Well thank you.